Hello, welcome back again at Coding Forever YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at another challenge. So let me just open VS Code and see the challenge we are going to look at. Uh, the main difference between this challenge and the, the other challenges we've been looking at. In this challenge, I came up with two methods of how to can solve the or how how we can come up with a solution to the challenge. So let me just open VS Code and go through this new challenge. Okay, so in this challenge, we need to count the number of vowels in a string. We all know, uh, for those of you who've been learning English for quite a long period of time, vowels, these are, these are alphabet letters like A, A, E, I, O, and U. So these are five vowels. In the entire alphabet in the, in the entire English alphabet okay so we want to create a function whereby you pass a string as a parameter and then count count the, the specific vowels in that string so if you can look at this string hello if we, can, if we can count and see the vowels in this string there are two vowels e and o so the output of this function should be two and then the other example is vowels whereby where this function whereby you pass in my as a string. This should return a zero, nothing else apart from a zero. So we are simply going to create a function called vowels and it has a string as a parameter in this function. So we are going to first look at the very, very, very the easiest solution you can think of. And this solution will be utilizing regular expressions. We are going to use a is a specific method in JavaScript we're going to be using called the match, called the match, match. So in this match method, we're going to pass in our regular expression that checks and see whether we have vowels in that string. So let me go, let us do it here. Okay, so this function, let us, we're going to just simply create a variable, a variable, let us call it a uh, Result, let me call it result because this is the resultant solution. Okay, okay, so we are going to create a variable called const result is equal to the string we are getting in our function, and on that string, we are going to chain on a match method. I've told you so. In this, ma in this match method, we're going to receive an argument, and that argument is called a regular expression. So, this is the regular expression. Okay, then in this square brackets, this is where we're going to put in our, our vowels. The vowels are A, we have A, A, E, I, O, U. So, what's, what, what, what this method does, simply checks and see this string you, you're giving me this function. Does it match any? Of the vowels I'm having here, does it match any of these or any of these characters I'm having here? If yes, the output of this will be an array. So this will be an array of vowels in this string. Okay. So the other thing I have to add on is a G here. This G, this G simply means that if you're matching, if you're matching a, a string. If we're matching a specific character in this string with what we have in here, we shouldn't stop on only the first in the first match. We have to continue until we, until the entire string is what is done. So we put our G here to, to make sure that we loop through the entire string and go on matching with what with these words here. And another thing we have to add is the I, the I. So what does this I imply? This I means that. Even if I'm having uppercase, uppercase vowels in this string, it should be automatic. This I automatically changes this uppercase to a lowercase character so that it can match with these characters we're having here. Okay, so the output of of this would be an array. You can prove that. Let us console log. Let us console dot log result and see that it will be an array of vowels in a specific string okay result so let us call our function 
console or let us just call it an personal judgment vowels so that's passing a uh, word hello and see we we'll go back in our terminal we we'll execute as we have been doing in the earlier videos so we're going to execute node vowels the js file you see we're having only two vowels we're having e and o okay so this is the magic this is where the magic comes in this mag this is where the magic comes in in this solution just with the match method and in the match method you pass an algebraic expression whereby we're matching characters the vowel characters in this square brackets with a string okay as simple as that and remember the question is telling us to find well we want to count we have to count the number of vowels in a specific string so first to count you can just put dot length dot length is a javascript method that counts and finds the number of occurrence of a specific mm -hmm character in a string or numbers okay so here it we should we should get two because we're having two vowels we execute mode vowels the js file okay so now we have two wow you may think that we've succeeded in this solution but we haven't because when you when you pass here a, a string that has no that has no vowel Remember, I want a string that that has no vowels. It has to return a zero. But now, if we, but now if we execute this function and see, I'll be getting an error. I type error. Vowels. But yes, let us execute and see. You see, we are getting a type error. Cannot read properties of null. Why are we getting this error? This is because this result here is returning. We are getting an empty array. Okay, so the, the here we're getting an empty array in the console log result. We'll be getting an empty array, and you can't find the length of an empty array. So to just do an exception of cannot find properties of now because we're having nothing in that array. So to avoid that, we have to use an if statement or eternal expression. Let us use the eternal expression here. So if we have result, result is there then put a question mark then you put a condition or if the the result is, is truthful which meaning that the result is there so you shall just put here result dot length or just a zero okay so now if we execute this again you will see oh Oh, out console.log this console.log okay. so when we execute this again we shall get we shall not get an exception whatsoever but just wow we are getting undefined where are we getting why are we getting this error from okay Vowels.js, I'm passing in my where am I getting that error? This should be zero result. Then these are the blanks. Post the log vowels. Let me try hello and see. Okay, mode. Vowels of JS. Wow, why are we getting undefined? Why are we getting undefined? If it's a function, function receives a string. Forget the first console log. That's first file turning. These are the length. Okay, I didn't return. Please, please, please don't always forget to return something here. Okay, failure is return. So this time one has to work. Not vowels of chess. I'm having two. And now if I put 
my the string that has no vowels I have to get zero wonderful so this is our first solution to this challenge as simple as that what you have to first understand is that we are going to use a match the match method whereby we are going to match every every vowel here with what is in the string if they if there is any if there is any vowel in this string then we shall return it its number okay all right so this is the easiest solution this is the very easiest solution you can think of when you're going to do this this challenge but i prepared another solution you prepare another solution you're going to take a look at it but first and foremost i'm going to first comment out this i'm going to comment it out so that we can have reference and i'm going to create another function here where we are going to do the same challenge but in a very very different way vowels receiving your spring okay all right so what are we going to do here this is a uh, somehow it's a little bit tricky from what we have first looked at but i think you, will, you get an idea and i think you will understand or you will easily understand it better so here there is a special method called includes includes method before you go we go before you start the challenge i'm going to first take you through how the includes method does okay so i will first clear this console so as, as we've been doing we can go to the node console and test out stuff from there okay we are now in the node console so what the, how does the includes method does the include method acts on strings and arrays so we can assume we're having an array an array of characters maybe maybe a b b c so that's the array we're having so we can chain on the includes method on this array and check and see whether in this array having an a sorry this has to be a you see when I execute this return true so I'm checking I'm, I'm checking through this array to find whether I have an a in this array so to return true but if I if I try out something different if I try like something like uh, like a z return false because z is not included in this array and this, the same applies here a is included in this array because we have a b c so so this is a method we are going to deploy on on this solution on the second solution okay so first of all we are going to create a counter variable a right count we're going to be create count variable okay so what the count variable is going to do we're going to be simply counting the number of vowels you're having in this string or array okay so after that we're going to create also a variable a variable called let me call it a vowel check a vowel vowel check and this vowel checker will continue will include our array of vowels where we are having a e o uh, there is i i and there is u okay we're having five vowels okay so this vowel checker will be very helpful to us in this solution okay so we're going to use a for a full loop for so this for loop is a little bit the same in fact it's the same as the the other there's a for loop we looked at in a certain solution which is called a for of loop this for of loop helps us to loop through a string or an array of characters or 
of numbers. So we are going to loop through this original string we are having and check and see whether we are having, whether we are having values in it or not. So I'm going to create a variable called let character of string. And mind you, I want to, to always have lowercase characters. Okay. So for us to get that, we have to use that. We have to chain on the lowercase method. Lowercase. So that we can deal with only lowercase characters. Okay. So we are looping through the string. And checking and see. I want to look through the string and check and see if if this vowel. Oh, I made a typo here. It has to be vowel checker. Sorry for that vowel checker. So I'm going to be checking the vowel checker whether we're having this character here. We are this character here. Remember, this character is what is being looped through this string here. So we check. We check in the vowel, vowel checker that includes vowel checker that includes this character. Okay, so we are checking the vowel in this array whether we have the whether we have in this character here. Okay, remember this character is somewhere in this string. All right. So if, if 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 it includes if if we're having a character in this value checker array, then we shall just increment the counter. Remember initially the our count was at zero, but now here, if 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 the character is included in this array, then we shall just increment what the counter, the count variable. So at the end of the for loop, we shall just return. Count. Okay. Yeah. If it's not included, if it's not included, then we just return the zero. If it's being included in this array, then we just return the number of those variables. Okay. So let us return. Let us go to console.log. So we're going to console.log vowels then we pass in my vowel let us test out and test and see our solution okay node vowel vowels of js file we're having zero why because my has no vowels in it how about madam the madam string has vowels, there are two vowels, okay? So this has two. Wow. We've succeeded in this solution again. Thank you for watching. Please continue to subscribe, like, and share my videos so that I can have the momentum of creating much coding challenges like this. Thank you. We'll meet again in the next video.